Hey guys, Nathan here. Welcome back to another video. Today I have a six pack opening of the series 24 minifigures. <clears throat> I already did get uh, the Ogre, the Potter, the Football Referee, and the T Rox. Or T Rox. T Rex. So I got six more. I unfortunately don't think I got uh, the Brown Astronaut <clears throat> or the Conservan. Conservan. Oh my goodness, I can't do words right now conservationalist with the uh koala so i called it the zookeeper i didn't really know the name on it so we'll just go through these really quickly and hopefully i got so this is the rocking horse rider <clears throat> i was actually talking to someone at kohl's while i was feeling through these and he actually found this one for me so and of course i got black ink on my finger from um the pen that i used i'm guessing that this rocker goes on a stud I'm just going to do it because I don't quite, yeah, I must uh, go on there and then she can ride that or I'll just put her to the side for now. <clears throat> so that is the rocking horse rider. She's pretty easy to feel by this element or there is a two by one jumper uh, element with a stud in the middle for the rocking horse. So that's also a dead giveaway. No other minifigure has that. She also has a hole in her hair where you could add a bow or something, but it does not come with anything else. So that is the Rocking Horse Rider, <clears throat> apparently five for five on these. One of these was kind of obvious, uh, which was the um, Ro Rococo Aristocrat, Rococo, I don't really know how to say it. Uh, this is the, okay, this is the, I think it's the Falconer, yeah, so she comes with a Falcon. Uh, all her pieces are in a separate bag, but the Falcon is separate, oops, which was an easy dead giveaway. So this one, some of these do come in extra packaging now inside of the package, so some of them are a dead giveaway just because of that, but let me put her cloak on here. Hopefully I'm putting it on the right way. She does have two faces, um, kind of just a smile and then more of an open mouth grin. <clears throat> and then her hair piece and her bow, I actually think I felt the bow versus the falcon the falcon would be another dead giveaway but i do believe i felt the bow which again no other minifigure in the series has a bow so it is a dead giveaway but that is the falconer there very nice chest printing leg printing um and a very nice colored falcon there so we are six for six <clears throat> oh that one opened weird and we are seven for seven. This is the carrot mascot. <clears throat> so the carrot, easy dead giveaway for this one. He also does come with a hair piece. So he has an open nose smile and then more of a bland look. <clears throat> and he also does come with hair, so you could swap it out. You could have just his hair like that. But his main element is the carrot piece, which feels like a carrot. I actually... I think I felt the stick here for his sign. Oops, which I put on upside down. Which I think there's a carrot type character that goes with the city set for the farmer's market, but that is the farmer's market sign. I actually felt the stick, which I don't believe any other minifigure comes with a stick. So that is the carrot mascot with his hair, which I think is pretty cool that he comes with an extra hair piece, which you can have him hold so it doesn't fall off. So that is the carrot mascot. <clears throat> we are seven for seven. And make that eight for eight. This is the Robot Warrior, which I actually found about, there's only about 20 packs at Kohl's, and I think at least five or six of them was this Robot Warrior. Uh, I felt this helmet piece, which is very bulky and weird, so you can feel that right away. <clears throat> and he does come with a lot of extra pieces for his weapon, which I need to open one of these to see how to build this thing, because I don't quite know how. <clears throat> So let us see here. Uh, there's a whole bunch of tiles and elements. So if you feel a whole bunch of tiles, you most likely have the Robot Warrior flat tiles. Uh, the, I guess would be the rollerblade pieces that uses a whole bunch on this little weapon of sorts. And then also um, the one by one round tile with a little jumper on it or however you want, round tile. This piece, I don't know what to call that. It's a jumper of some sort. <clears throat> so that is, get his weapon on there. The Robot Warrior, 
Really cool arm printing, leg printing, side printing on the legs. Really cool overall. Feel for this headpiece. Uh, it's very obvious when you feel it. So we are eight for eight. We got two more to go. Oh, this one opened weird too. And we are nine for nine. This is the, uh, how have you said her name? The Rococo, Rococo Aristocrat. Very large dress piece. Kind of the only one that you'll know every single time what it is. Uh, and she has, again, a normal smile and then more of an open mouth smile, which I will give her the open mouth smile. And then her massive hair piece. And she comes with a little puppy or a chihuahua type uh, animal, <clears throat> which she can hold here. Since her dress piece takes up the entire, um, takes up all the studs. So that is the aristocrat. I'm not even going to say the first word because I keep mispronouncing it. <clears throat> and the last one. We are 10 for 10. This is the newspaper kid. So I was correct. The only two I'm missing are the uh, brown astronaut and space baby and the conservationalist. If I'm not butchering that. He comes with a little knapsack that goes around his arm. I felt that right away. And he does only have one facial expression, which is this uh, open mouth expression. You can also feel for his hat, um, and the newspaper or the, uh, little rock flinger, I guess you'd say, or the slingshot. <clears throat> so a lot of these pieces are a dead giveaway. If you feel the hat, the knapsack, or the sack for his papers, the newspaper tile, or the, uh, little, uh, slingshot. So <clears throat> I am 10 for 10 so far. Um, I got these this time around. Like I said, the other ones are up on my shelf. I'm not going to get them down right now. But this is the second part of the minifigure series. I'm only missing two. And from what I've heard, the brown astronaut and space baby is hard to find because uh, everyone is scalpers are grabbing them and reselling them on eBay. So that one might be hard to find, but I will try to get the conservationalist. He comes with a nice koala, <clears throat> uh, which I thought I found, but I think that was just the hair on the uh, the hair on the carrot. But thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit the like button. Consider subscribing. And if you are, um, hit the notification bell so you know when I upload. Other than that, thank you guys so much for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.